Sturgeon Spears counting down the hours until they can make their annual pilgrimage to Lake Winnebago and the upriver lakes. Starting on Saturday, a record 13,000 fishermen will hit the ice with dreams of spearing a monster fish. And it turns out your chances of joining the 100 pounder club are better than you might think. It's tonight's NBC 26 special assignment. Thousands of spears set out each February in search of the elusive sturgeon. Some wait decades before seeing the prehistoric fish swim through their hole. Then there's the luck of the 100 pounder club. I got it out and I, was, I could not stop saying, oh my God. Matthew Klein is the great grandson of Fritz Wendt, who founded Wentz on the lake in Van Dyne, passing on his passion for spearing through the generations. Last season, at just 13 years old, Matthew got a monster sturgeon near pipe, tipping the scales at 139.5 pounds. They kept on saying that it was fish of a lifetime and that I might as well just hang up the spear now because I'm not going to get a bigger one. Emily Walsdorf can relate. I was shaking because it was exciting. But the 21-year-old UWGB student's prized sturgeon almost got away. I only had one tine in the fish and the barbs were actually still out. So it's actually quite amazing that it stayed on. At 115.1 pounds, Emily earned bragging rights. Yep, right now I hold the family record. A distinction her dad, Lance Zemer, is proud of. After all, he introduced her to the sport and has speared two sturgeon over 100 pounds. Both are, were adrenaline rush, rushes, but uh, when Emily got her fish, by far, that was the most more exciting than either one of mine. Members of the 100 pound club say there are three things that will help you get that big fish. One, good water clarity. Two, patience. And three, a lot of luck. In an average year, we'll see 10 to 12 percent of license holders are going to get a fish. So you're going, the average person is going to sit for eight years before they get a fish. Which means getting a 100 pounder is even more rare. But DNR sturgeon biologist Ryan Koenig says your chances of spearing that trophy sturgeon are improving. When the modern day season started in 1932, only about 1.5% of the annual harvest exceeded 100 pounds. But beginning in 2007, the number of big fish taken exploded. Last year, a whopping 9.5% of sturgeon weighed in over 100 pounds. Koenigs credits the DNR's careful management of the population. So the shortened spearing days, the harvest cap systems that we now have, we're protecting fish. And that protection extends into the springtime when sturgeon spawn. Back in the 60s, 70s, before that, poaching was a real issue. With the implementation of the sturgeon guard program, and I think overall a more conservation ethic, 60.2. That illegal harvest has been. Um, significantly reduced. And lastly, Koenig says the emergence of gizzard shad in the early 90s has given sturgeon a hardier food source compared to red worms. We're seeing fish grow faster so that they can get to these lengths and weights faster than they historically could, but we're also seeing them be a lot fatter. Koenig says the gizzard shad have created a hot spot for big sturgeon. So if you're looking to join the 100 pounders club, not a lot of people can say that they're part of it. Experts suggest trying your luck on the south end of Lake Winnebago. But keep in mind today's water clarity report shows the south and west ends of the lake are spotty while water clarity is clear on the east and north shores right now. The north side of the lake is where Wisconsin's record sturgeon, a 212 pounder was speared back in 2010. For more information about this season, including harvest caps, as well as the history of sturgeon spearing in Wisconsin, go to NBC26.com and click on this story.